Hello, I'm Andrew Christofferson, an animator over at Uber Entertainment, and I wanted to make a video to show you the proper way to rig a wheel to automatically rotate. There's a lot of YouTube videos out there that basically just teach you circumference and then have you hook it up to uh, your root translate Y or whatever, but that only works in one axis. Like that's not very helpful. You're going to have wheels that turn in different ways and you want them to actually rotate to the ground they're traveling over. So the way to do that is world vectors. Just sample them at uh, runtime and then update your rotation based on that. And then uh, when you do that, you'll know exactly where the bone is traveling through space and how to um, how, how, what the real distance is it travels. So um, we're going to need a couple positions for that. We're going to need, um, so we have like where the wheel is. I have my right wheel bone here. This is um, where it's rotating from. And then we're going to need um, two groups to go on top of that. We'll make the first group, zero this out. Um, this is going to be right wheel old and we're going to duplicate this and make right wheel dir this is the direction of the wheel okay so right wheel old it's important that we put this out at the top level because we don't want to drag it along um, with our controls this is going to be updated with script so it sits out there and then the right wheel dir will put at the axle level and then we need to drag it out into the forward position to show us the direction. So I'm just going to drag it out here, a random amount of units so that we can get a forward vector for the wheel. So yeah, those are the two things. Now we need to start uh, looking at our expression editor. Now we can create an expression, but the unfortunate thing about the expression editor is it only works in Mel, and I kind of suck at Mel. But um, if you cross your eyes just right, it kind of looks like real code. Um, we'll just lay down our radius first, and then we're going to start to create um, our vectors. So first, we want to sample the uh, old position of our wheel so uh, old move vector old will um, will do an X form uh, query uh, world space uh, transform of the right wheel old group that we just created now um, we're gonna want couple more of these. We'll just copy it real quick. So we're going to do uh, the move ve vector. And this is going to be that bone that we have. So that's our wheel is what I named that. And then we're going to want the um, dir, which is going to be right wheel dir. Now these are going to draw a vector from the world zero out to these positions, if we were to look at that. And um, that's not important to us. What we want are some vectors that um, sample the proper direction of our wheel. So we're going to use these base positions to create some new vectors. Um, here are the important ones the wheel vector and uh, the uh, motion vector. So to get the wheel vector, we're going to take the um, vector and we're going to subtract the move vector. Now what this does is it creates a new vector that goes from one point to the next. So um, it's actually uh, the way you can look at it is it's the end point minus the start point. So we're going from the initial point of the wheel 
to the uh, dir group that we set out there um, to I hit spacebar, sorry, <laughs> and uh, and then we're going out to the forward point in front of the wheel. So that gives us like this is the way the wheel's facing. This is our vector out there, and um, on top of that. Uh, we're going to need to compare that to our motion vector. Now the motion vector is going to be the uh, move vector minus the, uh, what is it, the old vector? The move vector old. Now this is going to give us a point that goes um, from the old position to the new position of the wheel. And uh, this will um, serve double duty because we'll get the direction of our motion and then we'll also be able to sample its magnitude or the length of the vector to get our distance traveled. <clears throat> and um, so we can uh, save that off as its own little float that we'll call distance. And this is going to be uh, what is it, mag, this is the magnitude of the motion vector. Great, and so um, that's going to be, um, it's invalid after edit. Uh, we'll figure that out as we go. Oh, I'm missing f some tildes in here, that's why. Uh, you guys were probably yelling at me saying, why did you finish this out? There we go. Now that uh, those lines work, <laughs> it'll save properly. Um, so now that we have our distance, we need to get to the fun part. Woo, fun! Dot products. Dot product is what makes this so easy. So um, if you don't know, a dot product is the projection of one vector onto another. So you can get this... Um, nice direction um, comparison. So if you have a vector um, and you have a perfectly perpendicular vector, pretend this is a right angle, let's draw a box there to make it look like it's right angle, um, this would actually be a dot product of zero. And then if you get a parallel vector to the vector you're comparing to, it'd be a dot product of one. So perfect, we're in parallel, we're going in the same direction, yay. Um, and then if you were to draw a vector that went in the complete opposite direction, that's actually a negative one dot product. So you can see how this easily maps onto exactly uh, what we want to do with taking this dot product and multiplying it to our distance so that we can um, rotate the proper amount. Uh, so back to 3D world. Um, the dot product is equal to you just don't actually have to do all the math. You just type in dot product and then find the dot product of the motion vector uh, and then compare that to the wheel vector. And then this uh, dot product is going to be normalized. So um, what is normalized? A normalized vector is taking the magnitude of the vector and setting it to one. So if you want to compare a bunch of vectors, if they have different magnitudes, like it's a tough comparison if you're just going for the difference in their uh, direction. So when you normalize them, you set them all to one. And they're, so they're all the same length and you can just you know compare that direction. Um, so now that we have kind of all of our vectors and our information laid down, we can actually create the rotation that's going to rotate this wheel. Um, right wheel um, dot rotate z is equal to okay so the important thing is since we're doing this at runtime every frame, we're going to want to um, like sample the current rotation so that we don't reset it every time. We're just, uh, we have to go find that first. So that'll be first up is the rotate, ro the, the rotate. Oh, oh man, I'm missing this completely. I messed it up before too. 
oh no rotate I, I spell rotate like that all the time I don't know why it's weird um, and then we're gonna add in the circumference so the circumference which all oh, easy to get out here um, which I'm going to use the tau uh, two eight three um, times the radius so 360 divided by tau times the radius so this whole block here is the distance around the wheel so we're taking the current rotation we're adding in the circumference and then we're going to um, multiply that by the distance we want to travel so um, uh, first we're going to bring our dot product into here and multiply the distance by it okay so this distance is some amount of units that we traveled say like five units in some direction and then we sample like our dot product like how do our vectors line up if it's like 40 to 5 degrees off then we get a dot product of 0.5 and then it takes that five and it shrinks it down to 2.5 of distance actually traveled in the direction we're concerned about which is the direction our wheel is facing so um the last thing i'd like to throw in here is um a little connection to a uh, variable so on my root control i added in a custom attribute called wheel right wheel auto auto yes and then yeah uh, that is a value of 0 to 1, so the animator could um, turn on or off the uh, auto uh, rig value. And it's just there on the base root control. And then if he was like going to jump the vehicle or wanted to like custom animate the wheels to do something a little different, then he could like scale it down from one to zero and so it would actually fade off the um, the added rotation um, and then we're going to want to um, so that's pretty much this will actually start turning our wheel right here but uh, we need to do some extra work because currently um, our old position isn't being updated so we're going to set the X form of the, the translation and then we want to have the move vector move vector dot x is the first one and then so we're building we're just gonna x y z so we're just setting its translate to the uh the right wheel already uh, right wheel old that's you so um after we've done this these previous these lines of code and we've gotten our rotation where we want it we're like oh we got to keep next frame in mind let's update our old position and move it to our current position and then one other thing i like to do um is uh reset the wheel at the start of the animation just so we don't accumulate a bunch and you don't get these like ridiculously sized uh numbers so i like to start my animations at frame zero i don't know about you guys but um uh, once if we're at frame zero we'll just go ahead and uh set our right wheel dot z rotate z uh to zero and uh, then bracket that in. Okay. So now that we have that all in there, I just got. You know, I'll post uh, a link to my website and this block of code uh, in the description. But um, now we can actually kind of sample what's going on here. Here's the root. Uh, we have our auto on, and give it a little key here we'll go to 0 to 90 something a little manageable uh, and then 
set a key here. Now you'll notice it doesn't rotate when you're moving around because it's not actually uh, running the expression editor. When you're editing, it uh, only runs it at uh, well at playback. Oh, and there's our wheel. Woo! Yeah. So it goes back and forth. This is what all the other rigs will do, like translating around. But let's do the cool stuff. It can translate and also it can rotate. Check that out. It just figures it out. It just draws the vectors and sees that, oh, I'm going in this direction. I need to move forward, of course. Uh, and then you just drive it in the other direction. And then it drives around like that. Woo. And you can see it, it pops there at frame zero because it's resetting it to zero. It wants to make sure it's going there. But once it's running, then it's like, it, since it's rolling the specific amount, if it goes back to zero, it actually rolls back to, the, to zero. Eh, slick. <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, it should be lined up perfectly to the actual distance traveled. But if you wanted to, I don't know, for some crazy reason, just set it it to um that's the left wheel we want to set the right wheel set that to 0.5 or something and uh then it oh geez uh, i need to break connection break connection set this to 0.5 then uh you'd actually be scaling all the rotation in half so you could see how you could be using the auto uh rotator for a while and then you're like oh i want to custom animate it blend out of the auto rotator and then start rotating with the um the control parent here and just like hey no no it's all my animation um so that's kind of the basic idea of using vectors to uh, supplement your rig it is pretty great for doing stuff like the wheel and whatnot um, and you could see how it would expand to being an even more complex crazy rig uh, but I uh, really enjoy working with vectors in Maya uh, not as much as the, the Mel but uh, hopefully, maybe they'll add Python support in the expression editor at some point. Um, but I really dig this. I hope you guys enjoy it too. It's a, it's a fun thing to play around with. And since it just runs uh, the all the code at runtime, you can do anything you want with this stuff. So uh, hit me up. Tell me uh, what uh, you like to do with this stuff. And... Uh, uh, share your rigs with me because I'm always learning this stuff too. So I'd love to hear what you're up to. Anyways, uh, great talking at you. Um, have a good one and rig up some wheels.